Welcome, FNUS57 here. I'm back on my Xbox One, and today we are playing some Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, specifically the Zombies map. And this video will be showing you how to build the DIE Shockwave, which is the Wonder Weapon. It is also part of the main Easter egg. So we can do this in co op or solo. For the purposes of this video, I'll be doing it in solo. I would recommend that you already know how to turn on the power and forge the pack-a-punch machine before going for this. If you don't know how to do that, I do have a separate video. There will be a link in the description where it will show you how to do those steps because I am going to just fast forward until we are at the point that we have done the pack-a-punch forge and have that good to go and then I'll just show you from there which will be relatively quick now if you don't want to watch the other video and you just want to play the game you can do so it is relatively self-explanatory and pretty darn easy in order to turn on the power and unlock the pack-a-punch machine just keep in mind that building up points as fast and efficiently as possible is the number one goal and zombies do not reward points for each individual hit they only reward points upon their death 90 points for a regular zombie kill 115 points for a zombie critical hit kill which is a headshot kill for the most part or 115 points for a zombie melee kill using that information build up points as fast and efficiently as possible and then make your way to turn on the power forge the pack a punch machine and I'll see you in a minute. If you want, you can also do the dancing or um, coffin dance, dancing pole bearers, whatever you want to call it, Easter egg. That'll help you out a little bit if you're playing solo, give you an early advantage of some extra materials and a free weapon, as well as a free can of Juggernog. All right, see ya in just a second. Bastards. Picking up an unidentified hostile approaching your position. Things practically flowing with radiation. All right, so we just finished turning on the power, uh, forging pack a punch. Went through the little coffin dance Easter egg, so we could get a bit of an advantage here with a free can of jug and a free secondary weapon. Now, in order to make this DIE shockwave, what we need to do is we need to take down this freak that you just heard spawn there, the Megaton otherwise known as nuclear jerk that one hits you uh, so what you want to do is just take your time kind of thin out the wave a bit if you don't have an upgraded weapon this guy does take a lot of damage if you happen to already have pack a punch your weapon or uh, something like that then it'll be easier to take him out you can use stun grenades, energy mines, anything like that to just help do damage to them. The shotgun does a lot of damage. He does not count as part of the wave, so do keep that in mind. That if you kill off all the regular zombies, it's going to go to the next wave. And we don't want to do that. You split that bastard in two. So when you do enough damage that you think you would kill him, you end up turning him into two zombies. That bag of guts. And that just really makes him twice as annoying. Uh, they do have ranged attacks as well as very high melee damage. So once again, it's best to kind of deal with him from a distance. Upgraded weapons work better if you don't have upgraded weapons. Just make do with what you have. I'll leave how you kill this guy up to you. Keeping in mind his radioactive damage can completely bypass any armor that you have. Just like a normal zombie, his critical hit point is his head. I should mention, I do have a separate video on unlocking the achievement for Two Birds, One Stone, which is directly related to killing this dude here, if you want to check that out.
We don't want to switch the round just yet. So try to kill him without switching the round. Make sure you pick up that yellow or gold, whatever you want to call it, key card. And then if you happen to have decoys, decoys will come in handy. Alright, so we picked up that golden key card. Now we need to go ahead and get the next component. I did kill the last zombie, so we have to kind of watch out here. New zombies are spawning. If you want, you can wait to kill the last zombie. But uh, run down in here into the weapons lab, insert the key card, pick up the scanner. This is for the DIE device. And uh, we've just picked up the remote control for it, technically. If you need, you can repair your armor. Now we're going to go back into uh, basically the starting area. I believe it's called the living room, but uh, there's so much graffiti and everything in here that this map is kind of a little confusing. And now you'll see this little wall right here. This is the living room and we can use the remote control to turn on that machine. Now turning on that machine causes these zombies to be attracted and sucked in. Now, it does not suck in every single zombie, so keep that in mind. And this is where if you have the decoy, the decoy helps because you don't have to get trapped. Uh, it'll eventually say storage at maximum fire when ready. Which once it does that, then we can actually pick up the D.I.E. wonder weapon. There you go. You have the D.I.E. machine. And it's got two different rates or two different methods of fire, I should say. It's got the right trigger effect when you have ammo for it that shoots out a energy orb that has a fairly large knockback radius to it. And then it has the left trigger effect when your ammo is not full, which slowly sucks the life force out of zombies. And that's what charges the ammo up for it. It's a very effective weapon, uh, especially if there's an insta-kill active. It just, you know, one-shots everything. It does a massive amount of damage to the megaton zombies. And that's actually how I got the achievement Two Birds, One Stone was using this weapon. So this is the secondary effect. You can see this is uh, how you charge up the ammo count on it. And then if we get a big group of zombies together, you'll see the blast radius on this thing is pretty darn impressive for the primary rate of fire. I have to say this wonder weapon is really nice. So we got a lot of zombies there. Boom, the zombie's gone. Now there are also other um, upgrades for this. I believe there's four, there's either three or four different elemental upgrades. I don't know exactly how to do every one of those elemental upgrades, but this is how you get the base weapon, and then you could continue on getting the elemental upgrades for the full Easter egg, or you can just use the weapon, run around, and kill zombies with it. I do hope you have fun and the video helped. If you enjoyed it, please slap the like button, as well as share it with your friends, as that greatly helps me out with the searchability of videos here on YouTube. Of course, until next time, make sure you subscribe for more content, and most importantly, stay frosty.